directly focus on cybersecurity, insurance, underwriting, and specialty placements within that. From the client buying perspective, they're looking for coverage around cyber-related events or interruptions to their technology. And so uh, anything that's really focused on certainly cyber hacking or loss of private data, um, impact to operations from a hack or just an interruption because of technical glitches or failures, any of those aspects would be things that are typically contemplated by our policies. We first be able to be able to sort of categorize, identify all of the issues, and then bring solutions to our clients. When you collectively look at it, the impact to businesses, it's really hard to quantify, but well into the billions, probably hundreds of billions, a scary number, particularly when you're insuring it. industry only goes back 10 years or so, um, there haven't been enough claims examples and within those claims examples there's not enough depth about the controls or the behaviors of an organization to really correlate that to the events of a loss. And so those, those uh, absent pieces of data are really things that we're trying to fill in the blanks for. We've got a great model for that, but we're absolutely looking at additional points of data and additional indicators for, for cyber exposure. And so those two factors together kind of led to engaging with FICO and starting that conversation. We really do need a partner who's got a cloud-based approach to, uh, to doing this and, and has the, um, the monitoring power of a FICO. The Aspen engagement with FICO is really important from a, a perspective of, of client trust. And so it's not only something that we're using internally, but as we bring this technology to our clients on a risk management basis, the fact that they know and recognize FICO as a trusted brand in the space over the last 70 years is really important. And that's a big differentiator from other folks or, or non-name brands that are in the market. So there's a platform they have which, which assesses companies from an external perspective and provides really an objective measure of, of a company's security posture. So we can take that, look at it with the individual risk, and for me that becomes a, a data point in the evaluation process, but then we can also zoom out and get to a, a sort of macro level on a portfolio basis, how does that look? Or within a given region, how does one region compare to another? And then there are other elements, um, sort of the evaluation of third-party vendor relationships and reliance on certain providers, so we can start to get um, towards the aggregation and accumulation of risk across a portfolio. That fundamental underpinning of, of uh, security mixed with the analytics is really important. One without the other I don't think produces um, the full picture that we're looking for. What's been really neat is their willingness to sort of jump in, both in the way that they're evaluating the data and, and constantly improving their model, but also the way in which the industry uses it. So that partnership and engagement has been phenomenal, I think, between us.